in this town we call home everyone hail to the pumpkin song so if that didn't give you any idea of what this night is gonna bring i thought we could look at some items i have that are fall themed but more specifically halloween so what i'll go ahead and start with are these fun fuzzy butt <laughs> spider earrings Very cute. I was so excited when I found them. And we'll see if I can get that back in later. But that's kind of what they look like there. So, see? Fuzzy butt. Next item we're going to do is going to be this fun hat. So it's kind of a more modern version of your stylized witch's hat, I guess. Etsy is a dangerous place. Make the sorting hat. Gryffindor. No, okay. It's worth trying. Alright, and to go with this lovely hat. It says Book of Spells. And it says on the front The Sum of Magical Works. And I think that bottom part might be in. Maybe Latin. Some of magical works. Um, spells. And then there's a paragraph. On the back. Here 
herein find that which you seek, compiled from centuries long forgot, ancient lips these spells did speak, without regard for danger brought, cold their bones, their fate unique, lie restless knowing all's for naught, woe betide the faint and weak who enter here for naught. Very Peace out. Another item I have is actually this cord from last year. So you know how you can buy those kind of mixed ornamental squashes about this time of year? I did and I was a living squash last year and if you keep them in a cool dry place sometimes hung um, they will dry and hollow out um, mold is what can ruin this process. So if they are in an environment that is too moist, um, perhaps too hot, this won't happen. I had five little squash that I attempted this and I only lost the one. Mold. This one is pretty much completely dried out. It's very light now. And 
And so now I can keep it as decoration. I can paint it, hollow it out. Some of the uh, larger squash. You can do this and create bird's nest. So something like a uh, acorn butternut squash. Butternut squash is a good example. Um, it's, got, it's got that more classic chord shape. And you can carve a little bird door, a little opening in there, and then hang it. scent in particular is spiced pumpkin pie. So good. It smells like cinnamon. Honestly, it would probably be the closest. Um, favorites to use during this time of year. Another decoration piece is this purple candle holder. This piece is actually my sister's. She has a pair, but I love it so much. orange pillar candles that would look fabulous in this. And they're pumpkin scented, which usually just ends up mean, meaning that they smell like allspice.
instead. They tend to smell like allspice, which is still a great scent, but it's got a lot of other things in it. None of which I can remember at this moment. Also an item of my sister's. So. A little skull. And it holds the shot glasses. Be the sweater I'm wearing. I think fall and sweater weather is pretty popular for a lot of reasons. I really enjoy that the weather is cooler. I'm not much for very warm or hot days. I had enough of those growing up. So, usually, fall is much cooler. But often you'll get very eclectic mix of weather depending on where you live. Maybe partly sunny, full sunny days, rainy days, windy days, a little bit of everything. 
and of course leaves change color and depending on where you live this can be quite the spectacle I have a lot of maple varieties where I live maple trees and I get quite Fiery oranges, stunning reds, happy yellows, it's quite a bit of everything. And we also have a big leaf maple, so some of the leaves are as large as my head. So, I'm always quite excited when I get to break out the sweaters, the colorful leggings that are wool lined, boots, hats, scarves. There's a lot more opportunities for green. 